evening ladies and gentlemen i'm z 69 welcome back to the channel now today we're going to talk about one versus ones yes we we've all been there we've all been one versus one in in a one versus one situation H however it doesn't always come off the way you want it now some people like myself like depends on if you've had a decent game, if you've had a really good game, that it comes down to a one versus one. Some people panic. Some people make mistakes. Uh, some people can hold their ground, and actually, they play really, really well. Now we're going to have a game here. We're going to watch a game. So thank you, Kuga uh, from Immort, for actually sending me this uh, this replay in. Um, and we're going to show you what you should be doing in a one versus one situation. So first of all, you you need to hold your nerve. You really need to hold your nerve. And this this is the difference between uh, a, an OP player and a very good player. Like myself, I wouldn't class myself as an OP player. I'd class myself as a good player, but I tend to make more mistakes in a one versus one situation. I tend to do the wrong thing. Uh, whereas these OP players, they know what to do and it's patience. It's all about patience uh, and skill. Of course, it's uh, it's about skill. So of course, being in a bat chat isn't the best of tanks to be in a one versus one situation, but it's not a bad tank to be in a one versus one situation. It all depends what tank you're gonna come up against in that one versus one situation. So right now he's doing the right thing he's going for the tanks that he should be able to clear the leopard one is a fantastic tank to clear and now he's got a kill it's a five versus five but of course when you are in a tank like uh, an e100 or a tank like i don't know a t62 with dpm or a tank like the t100 or tanks like is7s is4s there's different things that you you can do rather than then you would be able to in something like a bat chat so obviously the bat chat is a light tank and you need to bear in mind uh what you're you're capable of what your tank is capable of when you're in this one versus one situation and another thing that you need to pay close attention to when you are in, in a one versus one situation is how much time you have left so of course there is the e100 but i love the fact that he isn't going to even bother about this e100 right now he has a lot of hit points why try to deal with an e100 when you have other tanks around there that you can clear the Fosh, he will be able to clear in three shells. The E100, uh, sorry, the Leopard, he will be able to clear in three shells. So he's doing that. He's going for that. Unfortunately, he misses the first shot on this, uh, the Fosh, but he's got two shells left and he is able to almost take him out, but unfortunately misses his shot. So not only is he in a one versus one situation, he's actually in a one versus three situation and he's a one shot. He's got a Leopard chasing him down he's got all tanks around him he's got them everywhere now luckily the leopard one misses that shot and he is just able to get the kill here comes the fosh here comes the e100 and he still manages to get away he's holding his nerve he's done the right thing and he's now going to run away now look at the time this is what you need to bear in mind I always say it's not over until literally you're dead. Uh, so even if you're a one shot, just you never know. You never know. And now he's managed to be, even though he's a one shot, he's managed to bring it down to a one versus one. Now, this is where the skill comes into it. He knows what he's going to do. Now, the E100 is not a quick tank. It is a very, very slow tank. He's gone for the reload. He's got three shells. And if he's lucky, he will be able to take this E100 out with three shells. But what has he got over the E100? He's got speed. He's 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 got... Uh, he's got the he's got speed he's got the three shells and he's got the spotting so he's got uh, camo so he can actually spot the e100 way before the e100 will be able to spot him but what hasn't he got he hasn't got uh, armor he hasn't got armor and yeah he's uh, all the e100 has to do is load up a bit of he but again He's now in a situation where he can't really do much, but he's managed to bring the E100 now down to a one shot. So it's now a one shot E100 
over a one shot back chat now the e100 i thought he was going to mess up there but he's now doing the right thing he's trying to side scrape and when he's in this kind of position the bat chat can't really do much. So what do you do in this kind of situation? Do you sit there and wait for the E100 to make a mistake or do you use your mobility to relocate? To relocate and that is exactly what our guy is doing here uh shreks his name is so he's still got two minutes left on the clock two minutes is a long time when you're in a light tank use that use the speed of this tank now i thought he was going to go all around and maybe double back on himself but the e100 actually did the right thing in going this side but unfortunately for the E100, he just wasn't looking the right way. So yes, the damage wasn't special, but the one versus one was special. Actually, the one versus three was kind of special. But all you need to do, there's two main things that you need to do when it's in a one versus one situation. Actually, three. Uh, the first is look at the time. How much time have you got? Do you Have you even got enough time to get the win? If you haven't, do you go for the draw or do you just go for as much damage as you can? Um, so yeah, look at the, the time because the time is important. And also hold your nerve. You have to hold your nerve. There's so many times where I don't really get it now, but back in the day, you get the shakes. And if you haven't ever got the shakes where you're, you're having such a good game that you start shaking and you're thinking that you're gonna make a mistake and because of that, you do make a mistake. Uh, so you've got to hold your nerve. And of course, your strengths and your weaknesses. If you're in a tank like the uh, the E4, not the E4, like an E3 or something with turret, then maybe you want to try and bait a shot. Uh, if you're in a tank like the Batchat, which hasn't got any armor, but it's a light tank, you need to use that for in its, its advantage. If you've got enough time, just get the hell out of there. If you can get away, get the hell out of there and try to relocate into a different position because you can see in that position that he was at with the E100, he can't really do anything because the E100 is not making the mistake in going around. Yes, he made the mistake, but as soon as he went down to the one shot, he was doing a right thing. Now, in that kind of situation, the E100 is going to win all day long the e100 will win so he knows that this guy knows that his tank is not made for that he's going to relocate come in from a different angle and then he gets the win so yeah those are the three main things that you need to do when it comes down to a one versus one situation and again just like our guy did he didn't give up he was a one shot against three tanks he did not give up most people would just give up and just you know lose the game but this guy didn't. Don't give up. Don't ever give up until, unless it's like 100% impossible. Yeah, but this guy knew it wasn't impossible and he still managed to get the win. And it pays off. He gets the ace, he gets a well-deserved Kolobodov and he gets a pools medal as well. So hope this helps. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Meadsy69 and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye.